I paid a dollar and took a best offer of $295 and the buyer paid shipping. Uh oh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That is incredible. Five bucks into 225. I'm telling you. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, it is time for Share Your Best February Bolo. And these Bolos come from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and my Bolo Buddies YouTube members. So what happens in this video is I post this screenshot in the group, the Facebook group, and they all come and share their big money bolos that sold in February. In this video, I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And oh my goodness, get ready to learn because I'm telling you every time I do one of these videos, I learn so much. Thank you all so much for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies and I teach about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit on this channel. So be sure to check out some of my other videos. I have a wide variety of different things that I do to help everybody learn what to look for. So this first item comes from Nina's Jewels and this is their YouTube channel. I will link their YouTube channel and their eBay store down below. If you hear me shout out a channel, that means they are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member level two. So if you would like to join memberships, you're welcome to do that. Um, there is a join button. And if you don't see that, there is also a link in the, in the description of the video. No pressure to join. My channel is completely free. Everyone is welcome to share a bolo. But if you would like that shout out and that um, link down in the description as your perk, you can join at level two. So let's check out this first bolo. Purchase for $2 at a garage sale. Sold for $90 on best offer. They went to the went to the town 30 minutes east of us, so shipping was not expensive. It's always funny when you sell stuff like in the town over or, you know, like within your area. Like, oh, I know where that is. I've been there. Um, there was a lot of interest in these shoes. They are Cool Han Men's 11M Gray Pinstripe uh, Hiker Shoes and their boots. So their boots sold for 90 bucks, $2 into $90. I'll take those margins any day, right? Bought this at an estate sale for $40, sold in a month for a hundred. Oh, no, 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 not a hundred. Bought it in an estate sale for $40, sold in a month for $314.96 plus shipping. What? This one comes from Picker Money Flipper and that is their eBay and YouTube. Wow. It's a vintage 39 inch brass horse head coat rack. So it's a coat rack like that you hang stuff on. <laughs> That's incredible. 40 into 314. Awesome. The next one comes from Bola Buddies member Piece of Scrap and this is her YouTube channel. She said, I paid $4.25 for... I'm going to have lots of bloopers in this one. I cannot talk tonight. Paid. $4.25 at the Goodwill, sold on eBay promotion for $79.39 plus shipping. And if you guys are looking to learn more about clothing, Piece of Scrap definitely does clothing. So check her out. Um, it says cinch western wear quilted puffer vest, medium full zip, flannel lined cowboy men's. Sold it for $79.39 right here. And she has great key words for like for her titles and her descriptions. Definitely check her out. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member. It's All Goods 94. And she is also selling on Whatnot under the same name. So go check her out there. If you guys are not on Whatnot, I highly recommend you check it out. Um, I am Bolo Buddies all over there, all one word. I do have a link down below. It is a referral link. And if you guys use that link to join Whatnot, you're going to get $15 to shop. That is free money. There have been a lot of people that are buying things on that platform to resell on eBay. So it is definitely possible. So go get that free money, buy something and resell it. I challenge you. All right. So what did she sell? She sold this clock. It is a George Nelson style, unbranded, yellow, black, easy read, untested clock. 
Um, found this clock at Savers for $5, sold after 10 months for $130 plus shipping, and the item is untested and unbranded. Just looked cool. Okay, learning moment here. Um, I don't like calling people out, but I don't want anybody else to get in trouble from seeing something in a video that I did. So when she put George Nelson style, that... Um, is not allowed because that is keyword spamming. So let me give you an example of one that's very popular. There's actually two that are popular. Number one is Tiffany lamps. Those really beautiful uh, stained glass lamps that look like Tiffany lamps. People will put Tiffany style. Another one is the Kugi or the Kuji sweaters. People will put Kugi or Kuji style in the title when it is an off brand and eBay will get you for keyword spamming. Now, this one is a little bit different because I don't know what George Nelson is. I don't know if this one is keyword spamming or not. Um, I'm going to say it is, but I don't know because I don't even know what George Nelson is. It's more those like high dollar things that go for big money where it's going to get you um, if you keyword spam. So be really, really careful uh, doing that. So again, I don't know what George Nelson style means. So... The next one she sold is this Lava Light Red Glitter Cap 32 Watt Wizard Moon and Stars Black Base Works. And she found it at a garage sale for a dollar, looked at cap, knew it was vintage, oh, looked at cap, knew it was vintage, sold after nine months for full asking price of $125. She is definitely a bolo finder. And she does a lot of toys. And I know she was doing vintage media, like cassettes and stuff. I don't know. Um, I know she was going to a storage unit to get them, but uh, just some crazy bolos that she was selling over on whatnot. People were definitely going to make some money on that media. If this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds, and it says, I got it for free from family along with many other duck stamp art prints. This sold in about six months for full asking price. It was easy to pack and ship. It's a 1996 Nevada State duck stamp with print with stamp Klein Felter sign numbered 329 of 2000. This is what it looks like. And she sold it for $45.95 plus shipping. This is a good one. I worked with an estate sale group for 15 years. I bought this empty heart candy box probably eight years ago and finally listed it this February. I gave a dollar for it and it sold for my full asking price of $149.99. One just like it sold for more, but I listed it so close to Valentine's Day that I decided to sell for a lower price to get it there ASAP. It sold within a couple of hours. I was extremely happy. I haven't received any feedback or communication, but hopefully they are happy too. This is what it looks like. These vintage candy boxes can definitely be a bolo and stay tuned for a video. This one comes from The Rebel Reseller. This is her YouTube channel. And if you are not following Rebel, she is fantastic. Her and her husband um, are a reselling team and they just sell awesome stuff. Uh, they do specialize in plush, or I should say she does. He picks up some other cool goodies also, but uh, definitely check out their YouTube channel and their eBay store. She said, this is why I love picking up vintage plush. This is a large carnival style plush. I am in a, lo I am in a lost plush Facebook group. Ooh, ooh, that helps people find toys from their past. I happened to notice that my frog listing was being shown as an example of a plush someone was looking for. She did end up buying it from me and sent me the most heartfelt thank you I've ever received. I paid a few dollars for it at either an estate sale or the Goodwill bin. Sold for $35.83. This is what it looks like. It's a Commonwealth frog plush green orange 21 inch tall 1983 carnival stuffed animal toy. And I will say the carnival stuffed animals a lot of times they get passed over because usually they're a bread and butter and a lot of people will not pick them up. So this is awesome that somebody was looking for this and Rebel was able to get it into their home. Um, I'm going to have to ask Rebel about that lost uh, plush Facebook group because I am intrigued and interested about that. Here is another one from Rebel. This came out of a large box lot of HO scale train accessories we picked up at an estate sale. Might have $2 in these and sold it for $42.25. 
life like HO scale ho scenic vehicle car truck lot and it's by Bachman and this is what they look like this one comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters no YouTube channel but there's an eBay store and it is linked down below I bought five of these at Walmart on clearance for $2.50 each so this is a retail arbitrage sale I actually sold two of these this month at I'm sorry this month on for full asking price at $79.99 and the other for best offer of $67.99 plus shipping for each wow Paid $2.50 on clearance at Walmart. Unbelievable. Lottie London eyeshadow palette. Vampire Diaries. Love sucks. Discontinued and new. Huh. Makes you want to look at the clearance, right? Wow. That is awesome. I picked this up at a rummage sale for a dollar and sold it in less than a week for full asking price of $199.99. This also comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters. It is an OptiShot infrared golf simulator by dancing dog golf <laughs> swing analysis <laughs> check it out pretty cool right and another one here i picked this up at a thrift store for eight dollars and sold it in a couple days for full asking price of 149 dollars and 99 cents plus shipping it is an omron hbf 306c fat loss monitor body fat percent analyzer bmi huh check it out 149.99 where do you say you got that at a thrift store wow i usually walk past that section of the thrift store maybe i need to start looking found this herman munster toy figurine at the goodwill for two dollars and 99 cents and took a best offer of a hundred i just um as i got i'm sorry as I just got laid off and need the money and didn't want to sit on it and wait for more like I would have done usually. Still a great profit for sure. So what she's saying is she had it listed for $199.99, but because she was just recently laid off, she went ahead and took that best offer of $100. So yeah, certain circumstances may make you change the amount you end up taking for an item. $299 into $100 is still a great profit and a quick flip. And this is what it looks like. All right, this one comes from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. And if you want to see some amazing what sold videos, go check her out. Um, that is her YouTube channel and I will link her eBay below. But she specializes in jewelry, but she is a bolo finder in general. She said, weird looking jewelry is always worth a second look, especially when it's also designer signed. I found this Crown Trafari John brooch at a yard sale for a dollar or two it's a rare little item she finds the best deals uh she sold this for 125 dollars plus shipping how incredible is that and it is a uh alfred felipe pearl face from the 1940s it's beautiful she said of course that it that is beautiful is worth a second look i got this for maybe five dollars at a thrift store I had never heard of the designer, um, Anna Tolly, A-N-A-T-O-L-I, before, but this set was one, marked sterling silver and two, obviously gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Five bucks at a thrift store. Sold it for $225 and it's rock crystal quartz, briolette pendant sterling silver earrings and, and 925. So it's a necklace and earrings set and she has great keywords go check her out you can thank me later because she's incredible all right bought at the goodwill for five dollars listed for 67 took a best offer of 55 it sold within a week this painting is not very well done and i suspect it was painted by a student however it is an original oil in a nice frame a manageable size and a nice composition wow student painted and sold it for $55. Check it out. It says original signed oil painting. Um, oh, cloistered, nun, or noon, walled garden, vintage frame canvas. Uh oh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This one comes from Donna2445. She is a Bolo Buddies member. And um, her eBay store is Impressions Created. She said, this sweater was purchased at Courtney's Whatnot Sale, paid $39.86, including tax and shipping. 
asked $122.99 and took a best offer of $95. Buyer was all in for $112.15. So she bought it from me <laughs> on whatnot. And let me tell you, I knew this was a bolo when I was selling it at my whatnot show. And I want to bring good stuff to what whatnot. I want to bring items that people can sell for a profit. Um, am I necessarily selling to the reseller? I say no, but I start my prices at prices that I feel are reseller prices. But, you know, it really just depends on how much the item gets bid up for. She paid $39.86 for this, but she flipped it for $95. So is that a huge profit? Not a huge profit, but I'll tell you, she sold it pretty quick. I couldn't believe it when I saw it on the post. So it is a design options embroidered butterfly sweater cardigan, St. Patrick's Day Easter. So she put those keywords Easter and St. Patrick's Day in there, which probably helped sell it. But it was a beautiful sweater with these butterflies and sequins and beads. It was awesome. And I knew that it was a bolo when I sold it. And um, But I was thankful and happy to get my $39.86. I paid $5, I think, if I remember correctly, at a garage sale for that one. And it has been sitting in my money pile, literally sitting. And I'm like, I'm never going to list this. I'm just going to bring it to whatnot. Then I don't have to do pictures. I can just hold it up and sell it. Um, I eBay store. Leo's Treasures. And she said, I found this Frank Creech Santa in the basement of an estate sale. Uh, it was very dusty and alone on a shelf. I bought it because it was signed and numbered. After researching, I found out it was done by North Carolina artist named Frank Creech. I paid a dollar and took a best offer of $295 and the buyer paid shipping. Wow, that's incredible. Look at it. Frank Creech, Santa Shelf Sitter, resin, it's resin, sculpture signed and dated, rare and hard to find, Leo's Treasures, you nailed it with that one, girl, that is awesome, congratulations, such a cool find, and what'd she pay for it? A dollar, a dollar into 295, that is so great. This one also comes from Leo's Treasures, she said I paid two dollars at a local thrift store for this vintage Jim Shore Santa Toy maker. I took a best offer of $79 and the buyer paid shipping. And this is what it looks like. All righty. We are going to stop there. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you guys are not on Whatnot, again, Bolo Buddies down below, there's a referral link. Get your $15 to shop. Uh, Donna just proved that you can buy things on Whatnot and flip them for a profit. And she bought that from me. So, um, Thank you again for being here. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a video and a subscribe down below. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you found the channel. Hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching.